skateboarder in Brisbane has been quite difficult. Authorities aren't very, uh, they're not very forgiving. And the council sort of haven't really worked in conjunction with skateboarding and, you know, trying to provide something sort of up to date and current for people to skate, young kids to sort of go and flourish and progress. So on a whole, the stigma of skating in Brisbane has it's probably 10 or 15 years behind most other major cities. Brisbane is, you know, supposed to be one of the major cities in Australia. If you look at what the other cities have as their sort of main skate park, it's, it's embarrassing. You go to Melbourne or somewhere, they've got like parks, good parks in the city. Here we've got like Paddington, and it's been exactly the same for the last 20 years. Considering we designed this in 92, uh, it's pretty much 92 standard. 20 years on, we could probably use a uh, little uh, injection into the scene. It's just aged and it's aged poorly. It's like anything, you have to maintain it. If you don't maintain it, it sort of just starts to slip away and that's sort of what's happen happened to Padder and still happening to Paddington. Today we're doing a free learn to skate workshop program for the Brisbane City Council Skate Parks. We got some supreme talent out here. We got all the youngins having a proper go here at the oldest skate park, Paddington. Help encourage young ones to learn skateboarding safely in a controlled environment where they can feel welcome to have a proper go. <laughs> Start skateboarding with professional advice as well as safety and of course a really rad, welcome, positive hype energy. Welcome! sort of give the culture a better name because it does have a, a sort of a bit of a tough sticker type culture. Uh, so no, it's good and that little kids can come and be supervised and that sort of thing. I think it's great. They actually kind of study harder because their body's all excited, they've just done something they've enjoyed and they're usually really positive about the homework. It's definitely positive. In fact, I'm so impressed with what the kids have been able to enjoy and get out of it that I went to the effort of making a ramp for them at home. I've seen my boys just gain so much confidence. Testing. I love to do my tricks. Yeah, I just like to learn. Yeah, what? Skateboarding's awesome. I love skate parks. Yeah, oh, they just need to be improved a bit. Yeah, that the cement needs to, like, to be, you know, fixed. We need to um, pay more attention to them, like, yeah, because the better they are, like, the less injuries going to happen. Yeah. The scene itself is great. Look at all these little kids here and stuff. We're loving it. But uh, council don't seem to recognise it as. Uh, somewhere that really needs that injection. We've been asking them for years to do something serious here and they've just sort of flatly refused. You know, Brisbane used to be one of the leading cities in the world for skate parks in the 90s. We're still riding those same parks from the 90s where every other city has seen that, you know, the skateboarding, and that's a big part of, you know, the youth culture and, you know, for them to not put any, you know, money or recognition into it is, you know, it's. It's terrible, it's a crime. It's just something that, you know, Brisbane's missing out on and even places like South Bank, you know, there's no skating in there. But if you go to Bondi, which is the, the jewel of Sydney, it's like the tourist hub, it's a multi-million dollar economic kind of, you know, asset for Sydney, they have a skate park. So, you know, there's no reason that uh, Brisbane couldn't do something similar. In Melbourne, for example, they have a skate safe area where pedestrians don't have to watch out for skaters, but they got, they're kind of more aware of it in those zones, you know. Nothing like that in Brisbane. I guess, yeah, people are still on some 1995 vibe against skateboarding in Queensland, especially Brisbane, I mean. I've never seen it any different. The best place to skate is always a place you're not really allowed to do it, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. I was just everything so old and outdated. I skate bike's 20 years old. They're older than me. Brisbane City Council, uh, Albert Street Picnic. Um, yeah, they're closing the whole street off. Uh, arrangements are different activities. Yeah, they're going to have a skate park there. Yeah, they're going to have a skate park there. Yeah, they're going to have a skate park there. Yeah, they're going to have a skate park there. To get feedback on the city centre master plan. So we've managed to uh, secure a bit of space for two hours to do a, a skateboard demonstration. It would also be good to show people that wouldn't normally get, uh, get to see skating or be exposed to skating to check it out, see what it's all about and um, 
hopefully begin to start changing minds and views and opinions about how good skateboarding is. And the sun is shining and the skies are clear. If you're looking for love, you can find it here. So if there's a couple minutes, I'm beside you here. Yeah. I'm looking for the light like a Jedi Knight. So I'm heading for Brazil on a red eye flight. Because I got it. The best is on the line. It's set to go four whole days in a very high desert. Woo! We'll cut loose and dance in the streets. Walk away down the coast of Havana Beach. And when it's all over, we cover the moat. A mountain deep and Nemo to relax. What do you think of the, the skate event today? I really like it. Yeah. I didn't know it was happening. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Yeah. I'm all about um, getting cars on streets, so it's okay. good. Yeah. You support events such as this, then skate events in the city? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. He gave me the call and I was in here within two minutes. Yeah, I didn't have a look at it. What could you do in the city today? Oh, mate, I own a business around the corner, Fraser's Barbershop. Yeah. Uh, no, I reckon it's cool. Yeah, it brought a lot of people around. Everyone's watching, even the oldies. It's good. How do you uh, feel about a bench such as this? No, I reckon it's cool. It's pretty yeah. like, yeah. like city. Yeah. You're not getting troubled by the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more events like this then? Please, yeah. <laughs> With the thumbtack, and before you unpack, you wish you could come back. Why? Because the weather's warm and toasty like an oven mitt. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't loving it. Watch the palm trees sway in the breeze. Beautiful girls talking to me in Portuguese. I do my skate nada, which means the should be a designated spot for skateboarding in the city. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. My brothers skate and love that. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I don't get to watch it often, so I want to watch it. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. No, I reckon it should be brought in more. There's not enough of it, I reckon. Yeah. You're not really allowed to skate anywhere much, are you? It actually, but it's that, well, it's activated this little strip even. We all went over and watched it, had a look, and it's a bit of interest. Yeah, definitely. And I expect to see a skateboard and cruise by on the sidewalk, you know, in the city, and you just don't really see it that much anymore, and it's a shame. Yeah. The bikers, if you're in the bike lane, one of the bikers get really cranky. So there's no way designated for skateboarders no. if they're using it for the form of exactly. transport. It's like, are you on a bike or are you on foot? Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 But there is a lot of skateboarders around. Yeah. You know, they're trying to outlaw skating, yeah. basically, man. Yeah. It's like more and more these days, like, you can't skate, there's nothing. Like, yeah. everything's skate like, yeah. yeah. Skate proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Skate proof everything, yeah. man. There's nothing right. for it. Yeah. It's like, it's the best sport out there, yeah. man. Not only has the benefits of of a sport, but also it's it's engaging the city and it's transforming how people see the city. You have to balance it out, right? So if you don't want a lot of skaters in there, fine, but maybe you can release some other spaces and you know let them let them engage the city and other people. Today we're at Red Tops. Uh, it's an old skate spot from back in the early 90s and uh, stopped some traffic and turned some heads, I think. Yeah. And why is that, mate? Why? Just to represent skateboarding and um, what skateboarding could bring to people. Not so much people, but the whole, two whole communities and stuff. Um, just to spread the love of skateboarding, pretty much, and everything that it can do for you. At the moment, we're in an aid, you know, an obesity epidemic, you know, and you got kids that just spend all day inside playing on the computer or on their phone or whatever and uh, you know skateboarding something where people can be active they can be creative you know you meet a good network of people all together a positive thing to do you know it's it's good for you in every way
sucked, huh? It's a fucking bad joke. We're a fucking skate park, right? Well, it's not a. What, what the fuck is that? What is it? Sweet attitude, bro. Because this is a Swearing fucking barbecue. Swearing in front of young daughter. Barbecue, right? That's it, walking your feet. That's fucking right here. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful aren't you? Yeah. What the fuck are you mate? There's children around here. Look at you swearing like a clown. Mate, you got skate parks. Purpose built fucking skate parks up here, mate. You got gyms too, mate. Look at yourself. You got gyms too. Look at yourself, mate.